drink up your milk, Chairman. I can't, Mr. Peabody. I'm racing my push cart in an hour. Well, what has that got to do with milk? Well, I don't like to drink when I drive. I'll tell you what, you drink your milk and I'll give you an experience in driving. It's a deal. <laughs> I wiped off Sherman's mustache and then set the way back and forth for the state of Indiana in the year 1910. Who are we going to meet, Mr. Peabody? The man who won the first Indianapolis auto race, Barnaby Victor. We entered the way back and arrived at the speedway as the race was about to get underway. Two ancient vehicles stood idly at the starting line. Which car belongs to Barnaby Victor, Mr. Peabody? The one without wheels, Sherman. Mr. Victor, don't you know your car hasn't got wheels? That's all right, son. It doesn't have any gas either. And sure enough, his machine fell silent. How do you expect to win the race? I don't. Not with carbon dioxide running against me. Carbon dioxide was Spain's most famous racer. A man who would stop at nothing to win a race. Buenos dias, senor loser. Golly, Mr. Peabody, you said Barnaby Victor would win this race. And so he shall, Sherman. We must put tires on the car and refill the gas tank. But there's no time. The starter's ready to wave the flag. Well, I took care of that by switching flags. Instead of the usual one, he waved a flag bearing the words, Hooray for Cornwallis. The police arrested him as a radical, and the track sent out for another starter. Even though the delay was slight, it enabled us to complete our tasks. All set to go, Mr. Victor. He was all set to go, all right, but in the wrong direction. You go that way, Barnaby. Are you sure? Trust me, won't you? The flag was dropped, and the two cars sped off on the first of 500 laps. Barnaby Victor opened up an early lead, one that lasted exactly one lap. He's coming into the pit, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> Forget something, Barnaby? Sure did. I forgot the ignition key. I had it a minute ago. You mean the key that starts the car? That's the one. But, Mr. Victor, you started your car. It's running now. Is that the key in the ignition hole there? Oh, yeah, there it is. Thanks for finding it for me. You sure he's gonna win, Mr. Peabody? Instead of answering, I focused a pair of field glasses on the track. Carbon dioxide had not only gone into the lead, he was making preparations not to lose it. What's carbon dioxide? Side up to now. He pulled his car to a stop and painted a view of the Grand Canyon on a retaining wall on the far turn, and then he took off. He must be crazy. Hmm, like a fox. When Barnaby Victor saw the picture of the Grand Canyon, he thought he was at a drive-in movie and shut his motor off. Oh, he'll lose for sure now. No, he won't. I grabbed a bucket of paint, dashed to the wall, and splashed it against it. In black letters came the words, The End. Barnaby assumed the show was over and resumed racing. Soon, he had not only caught up, but was out in front. Now, if he can only hold the lead. But he didn't. Dioxide turned on a siren, put on a policeman's uniform, and forced Barnaby to stop. He then gave him a ticket for speeding. By the time we got there, Dioxide had resumed racing. Get going, Mr. Victor. Can't, Sonny. Why not? That officer took my license away. There was no time to argue. The race was almost over. Quick, Sherman, pretend you're feeling faint. Huh? A fainting spell. Have one. Oh, oh, I feel dizzy. Quick, we must get this poor boy to a hospital. But I don't have a license. You don't need one. We got into the car and roared off. <laughs> Which way to the hospital? Just keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Even with his foot down to the floorboards, Victor's car was not gaining on dioxide. It was then I noticed the speedometer only went as high as 50. So I simply broke the glass and pushed the needle. Naturally, the car went faster. As we went into the last lap, we forged ahead. Mr. Peabody, our gas tank, it reads empty. And that wasn't our only concern. Carbon dioxide had lit a stick of TNT and threw it into our auto. Put it out, Mr. Peabody. Ah, but instead of doing so, I let it fly in back of us. The explosion occurred just as we ran completely out of gas, but the shock wave picked us up and thrust us across the finish line, victorious. Barnaby Victor had won the race, and carbon dioxide was banned from racing. Did Mr. Victor ever race again? No, Sherman. As soon as he crossed the finish line, he headed for a gold mine he owned in the hills and was never seen again. How come? Well, look, Sherman, the road only goes one way. And he never came out of that hole in the ground? That's right. Sherman, you are now looking at a one-track mine.